This blaster sucks. Let me explain why it sucks without actually saying anything. Do you see the problem? This one exists. And putting these two next to each other, yeah, it was actually kind of difficult to figure out what the difference was the first time I saw these two next to each other. And I don't mean that in a sarcastic tone. I mean like when I saw the this I saw the Mac 100, I legitimately was 100% convinced it was a repainted Percy's. However, it's worse than the Percy's. I mean, it is $30 less than the Percy's, but it, it's not a better version. It is an inferior product. And I'm going to explain that in the most accurate detail I could possibly muster. First, let's bring this one to the floor. Next, let's bring this one to the floor. First of all, what's the difference? Well, the difference is very simple. If we go over here and actually open the right drawer, this is a rival, no, it's not. This is a rep. No, it's not. Rival round, please. Is this one actually rival branded? Yes, it is, it has an N on it. It doesn't have a headshot on it. Yeah, rival round. Small, squishy, made of foam. Everybody likes rival rounds. Figures. This is a hyper round. It's smaller, squishier, and made of rubber. And next to the hyper round, yeah, you can see the difference here. However, on the field, it is very hard to differentiate which one of these is what. So it's like if I just throw these. Wow. I would be very good at golf. <laughs> well, but you get the point. The rounds look the same, especially when they're flying through the air, and it can be pretty difficult to determine what's a hyper blaster and what's a rival blaster. Now, let me explain why the Mac is worse than the Percy's, because really, I like the way this looks way better than the way this thing looks. I feel like this thing just looks silly, even though it does have a bit of a better grip. This thing is leagued better. For a few reasons. One, it's rival instead of hyper, and I will discuss the problem with hyper in a moment. Second, you can do this. Look at this. This was included. This is a 9 volt rechargeable battery. You can just snap it in. I literally plugged the battery in in one second. One second. Half a second, actually. This thing, 6Ds in front of the grip. Yeah, it's dual wielding. These are very fun. That's why I got two of them. Because dual wielding them, it's not fun. And I, I really mean that in the most accurate detail possible. Dual wielding the Mac is not a pleasant experience because it is so freakishly heavy. Now, I see what they were going for with this. They were trying to kind of recreate the Percy's or reinvent the Percy's, but fix all the problems that the Percy's had, like having better capacity and a better overall looking design, slightly bigger. But the problem is that the, pro the pro problems that this thing fixes aren't completely outmatched by the problems that are introduced. And it doesn't have anything to do with the blaster, really. It has to do with the ammunition. Oh my God, it's just, it's just disintegrating. But you see these rounds, these rounds are cool, right? They're smaller, they're more durable. You would just generally think from a, from a top-down perspective that Hyper is superior to Rival. It's not. It's because they're made of rubber they stick to each other. The hyper rounds stick to each other and they form these clusters that get stuck in the top of the hopper and behind the hopper. And what that means is while you're trying to fire, the hyper rounds will be 
being pushed forwards by the conveyor belt inside the blaster. However, while it's doing that, there are multiple hyper rounds trying to get in that slot at the same time. And it basically means that this thing will be jamming way more than it is being consistent. Trying to get consistent rate of fire out of this is impossible. Getting rate of fire out of this that is consistent is difficult, but it works. I mean, like, watch. Please excuse the potato level filming quality. I don't have this room fully set up yet. Now, I'm not going to tell y'all which one is which. I just want y'all to guess which one is the newer blaster and which one's the older blaster. So let's get started. <laughs> We got an escapee. We got an escapee. We're not going to escape us. Where did that go? Oh no, where did that go? But yeah, the results speak for themselves. I don't really have to explain it to you. Why? Why? It's stupid. But yeah, the superior performance blaster was the original rival Percy's that shot the larger rounds. The, the, the Mac the, the Mac 100 just, I, I don't know. I just don't know. I have no idea what to say about this thing. I can see what they were doing. And this is kind of a budget Percy's because it costs $30 less than the Percy's. But if they really wanted a new Percy's in the Hyper Series, what they should have done and what they very much could have done was scrap the whole gimmicky rubber idea because they, I know damn well they were just doing that because rubber sounded like something cool and new and edgy and they wanted to be cool and new and edgy but rubber against rubber equals friction that is not something that foam has to deal with so if they wanted to they could have just remade the percy's but with a smaller conveyor belt smaller hopper door smaller everything just slightly with twice or even three times the capacity because look all this space all that space that could have been used for stuff, but they didn't use it for stuff for some bizarre reason and kept the rechargeable battery and charged the $100 or even more than $100 if it was $110 and was a legitimately updated and improved version of the Percy's then yeah, I'd buy it. But just as it stands right now, there's no reason to get one of these if you have a Percy's. I mean, Out of Darts has a hopper extension that you literally snap onto the top of the Percy's and then you have just as, almost as many rounds as the Prometheus, which is a $200 blaster that is absolutely titanic in size. So yeah, I just don't understand what they were thinking. It makes no sense. But yeah, if y'all want to get a Mac 100 for some bizarre reason, there's a link in the description so that you can purchase one from Amazon. And I'll probably also put a Percy's link in there too, because y'all should be buying the Percy's. Y'all shouldn't be buying this if what you're looking for is better performance. If you, if you really just want to complete your hyper collection, then sure, go ahead. That still doesn't excuse why I have two of them. And that's that's a video for another day why I have two Macs. But uh, yeah, that's all I really got for today. So I'll see y'all next time. Uh, take care. I don't have an outro anymore.